Now, looking at these inferences or the patterns of inference that we're dealing with, almost all A's are B's, X is an A, therefore X is a B. Most A's are B's, X is an A, therefore X is a B. Some A's are B's, X is an A, therefore X is a B. As we, we mentioned earlier, we start from the top where we're having the highest probability of the connection between those premises and the conclusion as those premises make the conclusion highly probable down to the bottom where they make it not that probable. Now, if you think about it, all these are sort of of the form where the quantifiers sort of mean something like n percent of a's or b's x is an a therefore x is a b so it kind of works this way if you look at the top one and I'm picking numbers out at random but should fall into almost all if 95 percent of a's or b's we'd say almost all a's or b's x is an a therefore x is a b so you think almost all you know we are a pretty high range 95 percent probability of the conclusion being true when the premises are true pretty high probability most let's say we could take it a little lower and you're going to start debating with me how much is good enough whether 65 percent 75 percent but we see somewhere it's a pretty high ratio of a's or b's and those things make the conclusion those two premises make the conclusion about as probable as that percent that is not as probable as the almost all but certainly not in the sum the sum could be pretty small. I mean, 25% of A's or B's, X is an A, therefore X is a B. I mean, that's a pretty weak connection. I don't know that that one we want to put any faith in. But notice what's happened. When we're talking about logic, the connection between the premises and the conclusion, we started out with this, with this notion that arguments use inferences and deductive inferences, the truth of the premises guarantee the truth and conclusion. And I think we're going to see we have a lot of arguments like this where the truth of the premises are only supposed to make the conclusion probable but not guaranteed but do not guarantee the truth of the conclusion but nonetheless these are still good arguments they have a pretty good connection between the premises and the conclusion or I should say not argue but good inferences remember we want to talk about inferences